for staying with us. October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and the Better Business Bureau is here to explain the latest cybersecurity risks and ways to avoid them. We're here now with Nicole Cordero. Thank you for always coming in. And the first question we have for you is, what are some important things that consumers just need to know? So the first thing you really need to know is where scammers are. That way you don't let your guard down, and that is social media. So we know that um, of the people who have reported scams on social media, over half of them have lost money to those. So it's very important to know that if you come across a message on social media or some type of ad offer that sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So think twice. Think twice. Okay. Now let's talk about some of those smart devices at home. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people love them. Mm -hmm. Some people are scared of them. Tell us what we should be scared of. So unfortunately, you know, there are hackers out there who can try and take control of your devices. We have so many of them right. that are connected to the internet from our doorbell cams to our you know, fridge, our appliances, our HVAC, things like that. Um, so they're very convenient, but we do kind of trade that off as an entry point for some hackers to maybe be able to access your um, accounts and your devices, um, your virtual assistants, spy on you, things like that. So just make sure there are ways to protect yourself. Make sure you know them. Um, one of them is securing your privacy settings on those devices. Go into each app and see what you're allowing, what you're not allowing. And also keep your software updated because they have safety measures every regularly that you can just be safer. Are those the two things that viewers can do today or is there yeah, anything absolutely. else? So those are very easy. And also just make sure you're on safe Wi-Fi. Make sure your passwords are updated. Um, also, we recommend past phrases instead of passwords. So sentences that are harder to guess than passwords. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Never use, everyone's victim of this, but never use the same password again for multiple accounts. It's, it's annoying, but it's very important to stay safe that way. And change them frequently, especially if there's something in the news saying, you know, there's been a breach. Definitely change that as soon as possible. I feel like maybe we should change our passwords when we do our smoke alarms. Sure. Like make, I love it, that. make it an annual thing, right? Don't, don't forget. Yeah. All right. Don't forget. And then lastly, what can people at the Better Business do if you are a victim of a, a cyber attack? We have a lot of resources. So first of all, if you do run into a scam, we do want you to report it to bbb.org slash scam tracker. That just lets us know that it's happening in our area. Secondly, we have a really great resource on our website called Scam Survival Toolkit. So what that is, is if you've been a victim of a scam, depending on if you've lost money or if your accounts have been hacked, we have a personalized plan to walk you through the steps of what to do immediately after so that you can minimize your losses. Um, and of course, we do shred events every few months. Um, those are free. You take your documents and we destroy them securely right on site. So that's a really great way to avoid um, your information getting into the wrong hands. I, I love it. I think a lot of times when this happens to people, it gets confusing. It's nice to know that the Better Business Bureau yeah. is there for us. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much for coming, Nicole. We thank will you. see you next week. You guys stick around. We'll be right back.